name is Monique Gilbert. I'm the director of the Myers Recreation Center, and today I'm going to walk you through a painting technique. Here I have an example of, a painting, of the painting that we're going to do. I'm going to change it up a little bit, but uh, I will give you all of the steps and to get this to do this at home. Um, all you'll need is a canvas or a cardboard, paper, or any type of uh, uh, material that you can paint on. And you'll need acrylic paint, any no name, brand, name brands are not uh, important, just any type of acrylic paint. You'll need paint brushes, different sizes, from the large, the large brush all down to the small brush for the tiny um, detailed uh, paintings. Uh, I also have Q-tips. We will use the Q-tips to do uh, texture on, on the painting and aluminum foil, aluminum foil in a, in a ball. Okay, here, so right now we'll get started, okay? So right, to begin with, you want to start with covering, painting your background. You're gonna wet my brush here, dab it here with on paper towel, and I'm gonna go with uh, with blue, with a blue sky this time. I did a, a purple here, but we're gonna go with uh, blue. So we're gonna start with, you wanna start dark. And I'm gonna mix the paint here, and I'm gonna take long strokes, making it dark. And as I move down, I'm gonna go dark, lighter. So that, and that's just adding more white to my blue to make it lighter. Long strokes across, the canvas, covering the canvas to get long, even strokes. You want to make sure that your paint is even and smooth. You don't want to make it too thick because if, it if your paint is thick, it will take longer to dry. And we don't want that. We want to get it to dry as soon as possible. So here I'm making long strokes and I think I want my sky to start a little darker up here. So I'm just going light to dark, moving down the canvas. Okay, see that? This works pretty good. You can see how the mixing the, the colors can, will allow you to just go from one color to the other really quick, okay? So you wanna keep your brush a little wet too. That also helps thin out the paint and give you a smooth action. So there we have our sky, sky blue. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my brush here. And then from there, I wanna go with, with my grass. I'm gonna change up that, change my brush since I'm down at the bottom. Sometimes you can pick up, you can pick up your canvas off of the easel because it'll make it easier for you if you can hold it like that. So I have green, green paint here. And I'm gonna mix it. I don't just I don't just like to use the the one color. I like mixing up colors to see what different different uh, colors I can make here. So I'm gonna add green and black and start start it dark and go go across and see if you, even if you don't like it. One thing you want to remember with painting is never messed up. You can always change it. Once it dries, you can paint over it, or you just add more color to change it up. So I'm gonna, I want my grass to be a little more greener there, so I'm gonna add some more green to, to it. And see, add a, a dab of yellow. We'll change it, make a, see how that changes? So, so there we have our grass. From here, this is drying really quick. It dries pretty, pretty fast here. So from there, what I'm going to do, normally I would let it dry a little longer, but it's okay. What I'm, what I'm gonna do here to make my moon, to make it a perfect circle, I'm gonna use this cylinder here and place it on top of the canvas where I want the moon to be, and I'm just gonna trace it here. It's gonna allow me to have a perfect moon here. You have that traced here. And from there, we're gonna go with our white to paint our moon. Okay. We start with just, I'm gonna go with just plain white. And as you'll see, because my paint is still wet, it's going to almost, it's gonna have the blue tint to it, but 
what happens when you when it dries you will be able to paint over it and make it darker it'll be darker and, and get as white as I would like for it to be so that's okay dabbing the brush here the more layers will helps it get darker so I've made my moon here there and you want to you want to make long strokes when you're painting at for large areas large areas that doing long strokes helps it to, to be smooth you won't be able to see your, your stopping points okay so there I have my moon I'm going to go over that again as it gets dry so let's start with my tree okay with the tree we're going to use my tiny brush the tiniest brush that I have here and so I decide where I want to put my tree and with the tree it's pretty much an outline. I'm doing an outline of it for, for starters. Nothing detailed, it's just an outline of a tree. And you'll see how once we move on, once we move on with adding, adding the leaves to the tree, you'll see how this will change up and how it's not, it wasn't necessary for me to just draw, completely draw a tree because these branches will be covered. Okay, so there we're drawing, have our branches, make them long. This is something that any, any age group can do. You can, down to age five, younger than that, you can, you can uh, paint and and have a, a really nice uh, portrait because it's yours, it's your own work. It's your own work, so an artist, it doesn't matter what, uh, if it looks exactly like something, someone else's, it's, it's your work. So you wanna keep that in mind. Okay, so I have my tree here. And from here, this is where I wanna go with my Q-tips. Okay, so I have like 10 Q-tips here that I've put together and put a rubber band around. So. I'm going to take these, take these, these Q-tips and with my green paint, because I want to make leaves, I want to have leaves here, and I want to make, change my paint color up here a little to make my leaves a different, different color. So I'm going to add some yellow in here with this green to change the, leaf, the color of my leaves. And I'll change it multiple times because as you, if you ever really look at a tree, you'll notice that the, the leaves are not all, are not all the same, same colors. So we're going to start with this color and I'm just going to dab the, the Q-tip, one end of it, in, in the paint. Just dab it in the paint and then I'm going to go all over the canvas, just dabbing on the canvas. You want to fill it in all over here. Everywhere you want your leaves to, to show. So you just keep, and I'm gonna keep mixing, mixing colors in here while I'm while I'm dabbing. Put some black in there. Shadow. Just going all over the